Hey Court Reporters, welcome back to my channel. Wendy Williams has been spotted again just days after a video of her looking very disheveled and confused about where she was uh, leaked a couple of days ago. This time she was seen in New York City wandering around two different stores. The first one being a regular bodega looking to buy cigarettes and then later on she didn't enter the liquor store but she sent her cab driver into the liquor store to fetch her a bottle of Kettle One Vodka. As a longtime Wendy fan, I have to say that watching the way that her life has panned out in this like in the last like three, four years has been so difficult. It really has, especially now learning that her bank accounts have been frozen. Allegedly her son charged $100,000 to her Amex before that got shut down. Um, you know, the, the way that the husband did her dirty with that side baby and everything. It just really is heartbreaking to see her end up this way. Clinging to different um, men like almost immediately and just being so vulnerable. It's hard to watch, it really is. Her own brother, who by the way, I'm not sure is worth believing, he claims that she is currently on the outs with her son as well. There were recent reports claiming that she doesn't follow her son on Instagram. Like, it just seems like she really is alone. Her mother passed away, her father lives in Florida. Like, who does Wendy have in her life right now to help her? Just the image of her wandering around in those shorts that are so short that they look like denim underwear and a random crop top looking to buy cigarettes and liquor and nothing else, knowing that she's all alone, knowing that she's battled addiction for decades. I don't know, you guys, it really just breaks the heart. I I, I don't want to see her end up like an Amy Winehouse or something like that, where one day they're just found drunk and gone. I don't know. What can be done about Wendy, you guys? What really can be done? It seems like she doesn't have enough people around her to help her out. And she's just suffering. She's suffering silently, being ousted from her show, talking about launching a podcast, and then other people saying that's not really a real deal that's about to pop out or anything like that. She's too big of a liability to work with. I do wonder about her future. I hope that her life is not cut short. I hope that that's not something that she's considering cutting short on her own. I know that she would never leave her son, but the amount of pain that she has to be going through, that she has to have been going through for the past several years, I feel like is something that you can't even describe, right? Like that level of betrayal and everything. And so that can make people do very crazy things, things that just seem not in their character at all. So I genuinely do worry for her. It makes me so sad to see these videos of her, especially that one from last week where she was walking in and out of the bank or something like that just and she was asking oh well something something about a flight like she seemed confused like she was going to the airport or something like that when that's not where she was going that's not where she was it's sad and now her here all she's looking for is cigarettes and liquor vodka in particular i don't know it seems like she's relapsed and might need to check herself back into rehab or something like that i don't know but it makes me sad, honestly. These Wendy stories, I don't really cover them too, too much because they just make me so sad to see her fall from grace. Anyway, you guys, what do you think about this recently spotted Wendy Williams? Again, just looking sad, looking all alone and not looking for anything all that great, but cigarettes and liquor. Let me know what you think. And if you have the same concerns that I do, and what do you think can be done to help Wendy in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.